Hey guys, welcome back to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Our What's for Dinner videos come out every single Tuesday. And in our household, it's me, my husband, and our eight-month-old little baby boy. So we are kicking off another week of What's for Dinner by trying to use up some stuff that's in our freezer, fridge, and pantry. So we are having taco night tonight. So I had some hard shell tacos in my pantry that I wanted to use. So I'll start out with my plate so we've got the hard shell tacos I had ground beef in my freezer I had some lettuce it's on the bottom that I needed to use up and then um, I went to Tom Thumb and they had this cheese on sale I think it may have been like a dollar fifty anyway it's the thick cut cheese and you can see how big it is right here I've got some salsa on top I used two cans of black beans from my pantry. Now, normally I would make Mexican rice, but I had this Mahatma garlic and olive oil jasmine rice. It's the kind that you um, cook in the microwave. I had it in my pantry and I needed to use it, so we're having that. So this is my plate. For the taco seasoning, we are using Trader Joe's taco seasoning mix, and I've talked about this before. I actually did a review on this taco seasoning mix on another what's for dinner video so i'll link it in the description box this is my husband's plate now he could not fit his rice and beans on the plate so he's going to have that on the side but he does not care for hard shell tacos so he is using a flour tortilla and he has some sour cream on there avocado he has the lettuce salsa cheese beans and of course the meat is buried under there and so I forgot to mention too, um, whenever I make hard shell tacos, I always warm mine up in the oven. I know a lot of people don't do that, but if you warm them up in the oven for just a few minutes, it makes them a lot crisper, um, a lot better. So anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so we are having another pantry meal tonight. In my refrigerator, I had these pork burnt ends from Aldi, and you just heat and serve them. So it comes in a little pouch, and you pop it in the microwave for three minutes, and then you put it in the tray that it came in. So here's the picture on the package. Here's the picture um, in the tray, and it's okay. Um, Howard and I said we probably would not buy this again, but it's not so terrible that we're just kind of suffering through eating it. Um, it's very tender um, and you can taste the smokiness of the pork, but I think it's the sauce um, that's not doing it for us. It's kind of sweet, doesn't have a lot of flavor, but like I said, it's okay. You know, it's not terrible, but I wouldn't buy it again. And then I made some macaroni and cheese to go with that. So I used a box of just the Deluxe Craft not craft, I'm sorry, the deluxe mac, mac and cheese, and I doctored it up. So here it is in the pan. So what I did was prepare it according to package directions. And then um, once it was finished cooking on the stove top, I added half a cup of sour cream and about a cup of cheddar cheese, mixed it all up, put it in this little casserole dish. This is a nine by nine. Then I added more cheese on top, then I baked it for about 25 minutes. So here it is, just a way to jazz it up a little bit and it gives it a really good flavor. Now I do have a crock pot macaroni and cheese that I filmed on this channel a couple of years ago and I'll make sure to link it if you want a traditional baked mac and cheese with eggs. And then with it, I just made some canned corn. I was gonna make green beans to give the plate some color, but you know what, I just didn't feel like it. So I just made some canned corn. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so it is my birthday, and Howard went to one of my favorite Chinese restaurants and picked up dinner for us, so let me show you what I got. So I wanted um, chicken fried rice, so here it is and then stir-fried cabbage, which I've never had their stir-fried cabbage before. It does not look at all like what I thought it was going to look like, so I hope it tastes really good. And then um, Howard got the braised beef and tendon noodle soup. So this is the broth for the soup. Let me try to open it. So here's the broth. And then in a separate container came the components for the soup. 
So here you go. It has the noodles and vegetables, and I'm not sure what that is. Some vegetable, I'm sure. I'm gonna add that to the broth. And the, actually, I'm sorry, there's beef in there too. I think I just said broth, anyway. And then he also got um, pork dumplings, or soup dumplings, I should say. He loves these things, so here they are. And then here's the dipping sauce. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, I'm back. It is still my birthday. I wanted to show you all the birthday cake that Howard and I are going to be eating. It is, these bunt cakes are from Nothing Bunt Cake, which is a little bunt cake shop. Um, and they're, I think they're national, but they are having a special on bunt cakes right now. I think it's only through Thursday. And from three to five, their bunt cakes are only three bucks. So we each got an extra bunt cake where we would normally just get one. So I got red velvet. Howard got the blueberry bliss. And he also got the pecan praline. And then I got lemon. So this is what we are having for dessert tonight. We're not gonna eat all four at one time. We're just gonna eat one. Um, but anyway, just wanted to show you guys. See y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight, we are having cabbage, potato, and sausage soup. I have made this several times before on our what's for dinner video. So I will link the recipe in the description box. It is so good. It's just breakfast sausage. It's hot breakfast sausage, cabbage, chicken broth, and potatoes. And it is absolutely delicious. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time. Hey guys, so I decided to pop in real quick and show you what we are having for breakfast. I used to make breakfast for Howard more often than I do now. I don't actually think I've made it since Harrison has come along. Um, but we are having blueberry muffins and I got these from Aldi. I got these from Aldi a while back ago. I have not seen their blueberry mix uh, at Aldi in probably since the pandemic started, since March. I have not seen it in stores, but luckily I had this in my cabinet. So we are having blueberry muffins and here are the rest of them. Whenever I make blueberry muffins, since I'm making it just for us, I just make them in a jumbo muffin tin. So instead of a dozen muffins, we get half a dozen um, muffins. So I prefer that. And then I am using up a package of bacon that we had in the freezer. I just had four slices left and it is the thick sliced bacon. And then I made us some scrambled eggs, <clears throat> excuse me, scrambled eggs with cheese. So I have Parmesan cheese in there. And then I have uh, mixed cheddar cheese in there and then some green onions. So this is what we are having for breakfast today. Hey guys, so I am getting dinner ready for tonight. I've got some chopped up bacon frying in the pan. I think it's about five slices. I'm getting ready to make some fried cabbage. So all I do is just chop up the bacon, throw it in there and let it kind of render out. And then I'm just gonna add my fresh chopped cabbage. I chopped this a couple of days ago because I was afraid it was gonna go bad. So this is a medium head of cabbage. As you can see, I just chopped it up. And then Howard is uh, lighting up the grill. We're gonna have some wings. So we've got some jerk wings right over here and then some garlic and herb wings right here. So I will bring you guys back when everything is all finished up and show you our plates. So here are our plates. So I had the garlic and herb wings right here. And this is the seasoning that I used. I told you guys that I'm trying to still use up what's in my pantry. This is something I've had for a while. You're just supposed to add lemon juice or lime juice. I didn't add either. Um, they are a little bit salty and I think it's because I didn't dilute it with the juice. But um, this is what they look like. Here is the fried cabbage. I just seasoned it with a little bit of garlic salt, seasoning salt, and onion salt, just a little bit, so it's not salty. And then we are having the leftover macaroni and cheese from the other day. I wanted to um, eat that up. Here is Howard's plate. He has the same thing, but he is having jerk wings, and then he has one garlic wing, garlic and herb wing. And this is the jerk seasoning that he likes. He loves this stuff and uses it all the time. Mm -hmm. 
So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we'll see you guys next time.